Being in debt can be overwhelming and cause you anxiety. And if you're struggling with multiple bills, you may not know which one to tackle first. News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno shows step by step how to more easily manage your debt. Last year, Americans paid off $82.9 billion in credit card debt, according to WalletHub.com. One reason for that, 20 million people still have student loans in forbearance. Between credit card debt, auto loans, and student loans, what should you be paying down right now? I turn to the author of Debt 101, CPA Michelle Kagan, for answers. You should always start with whatever's the highest interest rate. So, for example, if you have a credit card that's got an intro rate of 0% or 2%, I wouldn't pay that first. And since student loans are still in forbearance, Kagan told me it's likely your credit card will have the most interest. But once that's paid off, what should you turn to next, student loans or auto loans? I would say auto loan because while your car can be repossessed, your education can't. And this past year has taught us to prepare for the unexpected, which is why when I asked Kagan if she recommends paying down debt aggressively or putting money away into savings. Instead of making um, aggressively paying down debt, I might want to build up some emergency savings or some other kind of financial resource first, because that way you won't have to go into more debt if something else happens. So at the same time, you would pay down debt like at a normal rate, beef up savings if you don't have any. A 2018 Federal Reserve study found that 40% of Americans would have trouble coming up with enough cash to cover a $400 emergency expense. Financial experts recommend having enough savings to cover three to six months of expenses. But don't let that scare you. Start small and work from there. I'm consumer investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.